Hi, thank you for joining me today. My name is Faith. If you are new here, today's video is going to have a lot of decluttering. I'm going to be decluttering my memory box, which is a little difficult to do. I'm going to downsize that. I'm going to be decluttering a massive pile of mail. I'm going to be sharing with you a white chicken chili that I'm making for dinner in a crock pot. And I'm also going to be Partially deep cleaning my fridge, I'm just going to tackle the door. I had maple syrup spilled in there and everything else. It was a disaster and so I just took everything out and cleaned it. So I hope you stick around and clean with me and that we can get everything done on our to-do lists together. So let's get into it. Right now I am going through my memory box and I'm going to show you some of the really beautiful amazing art that was gifted to me throughout my life. The goal here is to downsize this box so that it can fit inside of a Pampers diaper box that I covered with contact paper because they're going to be lining my shelves in my room and it's going to look a thousand times better than it does with all these mismatched boxes and stuff. It's a little bit hard to see in this angle, but I had went through all my cards, like birthday and Christmas cards and everything from my whole life, and I I tried to put them in like date order. I scrapbooked them all together to make a book of everybody sending me stuff so that I could downsize my cards and make like a memory book. So I can show you that at a later time if you're interested in it. I do have other hobbies besides just filming myself cleaning my house and then editing all of that. <laughs>
Okay, finally, I am out of my bedroom. I don't know how that got to be such a disaster, but now I'm moving on to clean my kitchen, which is also looking like a disaster with this huge pile of dishes in the sink and this humidifier that needs to be filled and everything else going on in here. Here I am doing dishes again, and I wanted to talk to you about the editing of this. I used to speed through it really fast, but as I was editing this, I found it so relaxing to watch. It's so therapeutic to watch it. It's not really therapeutic for me to actually do the dishes in my house because usually there's screaming, crying children, and there's a million things going on, and the rest of my house is a disaster. So it's actually really stressful while I'm doing the dishes. But to edit and just sit and watch myself do them and watch all of it go from clean to dirty and a sink full of dishes to look, they're all clean, and then clean out the sink. It's really satisfying to see all of that get done. And so if I speed up the footage too much, it really takes away from that. Anyway, the point is, my videos will have bigger chunks of me doing dishes in it, so... It's probably going to be about five minutes if I'm cleaning my kitchen of just me doing dishes. But I have timestamps in the description, so if you don't want to watch it, you can skip over that.
So now I'm about to pull out my crock pot. The reason why I cleaned this area so thoroughly is because I always do that anytime I'm going to be working with raw meat. I have a freezer meal that I made months ago of this white chicken chili and I'm just going to defrost it in the microwave because I didn't pull it out to thaw in the fridge. Then I'm just going to put it in my crock pot and there dinner is going to be done in like five to six hours. <laughs> This point in my day is after lunch and I am just going through and picking up my house.
here I am consolidating my recycling down as much as I can. I love to crush all the boxes, take them apart, make them as small as I can and like nest them into each other. After I get that done and take this outside, then I am going to be working on this massive pile of mail. I'm not kidding you, I probably have 12 newspapers that's just sitting like by the entryway when you open the door. So you're going to see me do that. The before and after is really great. So if you have some paper clutter to tackle, I would highly recommend that you just get it and do it right along with me. stuff in here we have report cards we have cell phone bills spanning over more than a year we have stuff from two christmases ago for the kids i have my student loan papers that i keep getting even though i'm at zero payments because i don't have any money no income there's just so much stuff and we do like to save some of our newspapers so that we can use that in our wood stove. However, this pile is more than enough so we can let go of some of that.
the shelves in this fridge get wiped out when we have less food in it and it's easier to do. The drawers get cleaned as needed. So if you watch my videos, you'll know I did that a few weeks ago. But these doors, these doors had to have us run out of some stuff so that it was easy to take everything out before I got into there and scrub it. So these were overdue for a clean and they were really gross. It was so satisfying to have this be done and it still is every time I open my fridge to get out the milk or to get out a sauce and the bottom of it looks nice and clean. It is amazing. This is the last part of my video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for cleaning along with me. It is a joy to have you. I hope you found it extremely motivational and that you got your cleaning done right alongside with me. And I hope you come back next time. I post videos on Thursday and on Sunday in case you are wondering when next time is.